everybody! Hello, GHTs, Armagus, Luca! Welcome back to Root Double. Last time. <sighs> Mr. Fucking Mega Mind Scientist guy just can't, like. <laughs> Why does he have to keep accusing? Why to save everything? Like, I just. He just seems so ungrateful. I really want to know what his damage is. <laughs> like, oh, in-game audio seems a little low. Let me just raise that a bit. Because it seems, uh, the bar seems pretty high on my end, but I'll raise it up for you. You raise me up. Okay, and, uh, it looks like Watase got some of his memories back, and we have found a whole bunch of AD. Supposedly, a whole giant cache. Oh, yeah, we did. We did find it. And that would basically get everybody safe until near the end. The full nine hours. And there are actually nine people, too. I just, I can't get over that. I'm sorry, I can't. There's definitely more than nine doors, though. Now, yeah, clearly, G.A.S. Watase ran over his dog the day before. Of course, and he lost that with his memories. That's gotta be the explanation. Okay, let's get back into it. Explosion. That doesn't sound good. Oh boy. Huh? The stench of something burning was filling the hallway from somewhere. Is it just me, or is something burning? You're right. Where in the world is it coming from? The group carefully followed the sense to its origin. And they arrived at the stairwell. Only to find it full of thin smoke. I love the smoke effect here. Crazy good. They looked towards the bottom of the stairs and spotted a tiny fire flickering behind the staircase. It doesn't appear all that strong. <laughs> hey, old man, it's dangerous. So stay back and wait. All right. I would decide to leave in what they. Once he confirmed Akita was now outside the stairwell, Watase descended the staircase with Kazami. Woo! Then they took out the small fire. Was the fire not fully pull out, put out and just, just relit? I see. It appears the sprinklers weren't able to flip it out entirely because it was in the shadow of the staircase. The fire was a fairly small scale. Putting out would probably be a piece of cake. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I did it bad! Oh no! <laughs> God. What is he determined that and immediately started giving out orders? Anyway, bring me a fire hose. Hi. Yes. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh God. Kazami obeyed Watase's orders and ran off into B2. As soon as she left, Watase noticed a fire extinguisher sitting next to the fire. Fire extinguisher. That surely won't lead to some kind of weird chain reaction. It was not for there to be a fire extinguisher in a stairwell. Oh god, it's pulling water so he's gonna fuck something up, is what I mean. I did it bad. Oh god. It looked like the fire nearby was trying almost trying to crawl over to the ex extinguisher. Watase felt shivers run down his spine for some reason when he saw that. Really? Damn, that's creepy. What is it? Your 
footsteps at the same time, because Ami had returned. Captain, I've got the hose. Oh no. What they just started shouting right there? Oh! He knows something's going on. This is like a weird kind of fire. Tachibana! Stay back! Retreat! Huh? Kasami froze where she's dead. Oh, okay. If I had it on low, what they asked? Okay, so it's not a big deal. Woo! Okay. Warning alarms are ringing in Watase's head. Amade! Look out! What did they lunch for Kazami as he shouted that? And right after he dove out of the stairwell with her, there's a brilliant flash behind him. Unbelievable. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. The if I had known. I would have just stopped there last time. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Uh, uh. What? They forced himself to stay conscious and then opened his eyes. Everything around him was engulfed in thick dust. What the hell just happened? It seemed that the small fire had ignited something, causing an explosion. But as to what that something was... Don't tell me. What to say then heard a voice under him. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, uh, it was Kazami! She was lying on the floor. She was like, oh my god! Oh my god, you see Jack! Yes! Woo! <laughs> Tachibana, you okay? Uh, Captain. Kazami looked at Watase with trembling eyes. And her face warped in agony. Oh no, she's hurt. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, my leg. Oh no! Oh fucking hell! This is the. This is not. Oh god! She got shrapnelled. Oh god! I want to say look down to see a scrap of iron about 15 centimeters long, impaling Kazami's left calf. Oh god. As he stared at it, he saw blood who's out of the wound and trip onto the floor. What the A voice came from the stairwell at that moment. Hey guys, are you okay? It seemed Ukita was unharmed. God damn it. Tachibana, wait here. I'll be right back. What is he then ran over to the stairwell? The explosion has completely destroyed the staircase. Once they looked up to find Ukita, gazing down at him from the open door to V1. You okay, old man? Ah, sorry, man. Where Yes, fortunately. How about you guys? Tachibana is hurt. What? So the state of what? And what's the status of her wound? It's not life threatening, but her leg's in bad shape. I'll take her to a nearby room and try to treat it. Oh my god, she is. You're right. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just like ever 17. Oh my god. Wow. Jeez. Seriously, I I am I, I know I've said it before, but I am so digging this. I I love the fact that everyone's an adult. Like, seriously, that is way 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 too rare. And uh, you know, not that like I hate stories with perverted characters, but um, it feels refreshing. That there's just no perverted character here. It's just like everybody's just pretty normal, you know. Nobody's just like saying like, "Oh my God, the big boobs!" Like seriously, I'm kind of. It, it's really, really just. It just feels like a breath, breath of fresh air. 
<laughs> this whole thing. And uh, I, I can't wait to see where it leads. Oh, hello, Burncastle. Welcome to the stream. What will you do? I can't get down the stairs in this state. I'll keep going through this floor and search the next area. Got it. Then take this. What if they took out his Prokeon and tossed it upstairs? Do they have one of their own? I've got it. Then I'll be going on ahead now. Okay, but be very careful. We'll have to say finished up his talk with Ukita and hurry back over to Kazan. Uh, uh, uh. 100% faith in Kazami, but I just want to see what the actual choice is about. Kazami was trying to get up on her feet by herself. Knowledge was make her impaled like her even worse. We just work with agony more and more. Baka, Kega Ninga Muri Surunjanai. You idiot. Don't push yourself in your condition. No, no, it's over this. Kora Kurai no Kisa. Right. I knew they found a spare. I just didn't realize. I didn't know if they had them both on hand. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna not trust because no I think she's just trying to act tough I really think it's probably better to I hope that what that means is that he'll he's gonna see through what she's saying I'm okay a wound like this is n nothing no 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 it's not nothing Okay. How the hell is that nothing? Look, just grab onto my shoulder. What they said then wrapped Kazami's arm around his shoulder. Here you go. You are not a hindrance. But then it will only be a hindrance to the search. You idiot! Your treatment comes first! Oh, did I do it wrong? Oh, okay. God damn it! See, that's the thing! That's the thing with the trust meter. Like, you- it, it's hard to tell exactly what it's for. A lot of the times. Okay. Because I thought it's all about, like, believing what they're saying. And, like, I think, you know, okay, look, she's trying to act tough and, like, make this wound seem a lot less than it is. So I'm going to not trust her at that moment So to try to get her help. Because cause I thought in that moment that trusting her means that it's like, uh, like okay, she must... Realize that this wound is nothing, and I'm thinking of it wrong. And uh, th that's what I thought. See, that I really wish it was a bit more clear sometimes. Right, it means our trust or value, but... I see. Okay, thank you, GH. Yeah, it's... it's I, I wish... You know what I, I wish? I kind of wish there were all, there were uh, there were two meters. There was one for trust and one for value, and I think that would be a lot clearer. Okay, thanks. All right, thanks. So don't don't think of it as trust, but thinking of it like how much do you value? Okay, thanks. Kazami was trying to get up on her feet by herself, but all it did was make her impaled leg hurt even worse. Her face just worked with agony more and more. Baka, Kega Ninga Muri Surunjanai. Okay, this is the same so far. You idiot! Don't try to push yourself in your condition. 
大丈夫ですこれくらいの傷平気ですあ、I'm okay A wound like this is nothing それのどこが平気なんだよ、okay. いいから俺の背中におぶされ It's the same so far How the hell is that nothing? Just look, just get on my back, okay? Officer said that and squat down. His back facing Kazami. Shikashi, so they were so sakuni shoga. But then I'll only be a hindrance to the search. So Nakoto eat Terubaika. Imano, my wife, Shoshananda. Shinogo no Iwazuni, you told in Shiro. Is this really the time to be saying that? Listen, you're wounded right now, so quick riving and do as I say. All right. Oh my god, she's blushing! Very good! Yes, 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 yes! Because how we put her weight on watch as he's back. Oh, I see. Last time it was just the shoulder. Now he's carrying her piggyback. Oh, wow. Wadisi hurried on over to a nearby room, feeling the softness and weight of her body leaning against him. The pair entered the closest room, the surveillance room. Wadisi laid Kasami down on the floor. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to roll up your pants. Uh, right. There was no time to be hesitating. What if they rolled up Kazami's pants <laughs> and grimaced instinctively? Kazami's pale leg was drenched in blood. Her wound wasn't that deep, but it was fairly wide. Can I really treat this with Chiron? Chiron? Impossible. Even if you were to apply the ointment to her, just continue bleeding in this state. Tachibana, Tachibana. Let's head to the infirmary. We should be able to treat you there. Wait. What's, what's going on? Wait, I'm so angry. Don't be the music. It's going to be a romantic moment. Kasami grabbed Watase's sleeve and spoke. Yes! It appears my arteries are unharmed. So, we can perform adequate treatment right here. But this needs to be stitched closed. What do you have? We don't have the time or skills for stitches, so we'll use this. Kazami then took something out of her breast pocket. This is. Oh my god! Kazami, that is gonna hurt like hell! It's a medical stapler. Please use this to close up my wound. Oh my god! That is gonna hurt like hell! But. Hurry up. It's still bleeding. Oh god. They resolved himself and took the stapler. He's been pressed against Kazami's wound. I'm counting on you. Here I go. Oh, I just say that press the stapler. Oh, God. Oh, God. Kazami's face twisted in pain. You okay? Kazami nodded as she kept her eyes shut. What if they hardened his heart and pressed the stapler once again? Oh god. Oh, oh my god. Five 
enough staples were enough to steal the seal the wound. Oh my god, Kasami! Watch to say they used about half of the Chiron tube on the wound without worrying about how much he was using. Soon enough, the bleeding stopped completely. Yes, it's Okay, we're done. His breathing was pain. Can she walk? Jesus Christ. Thank you. Does it hurt? A bit. But it's tolerable. I see. That's good to hear. Kasami suddenly smiled when Matase said that. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm so sorry you know what that feels like, Luca. Oh my god. To have that done to you while you're awake, I can't even imagine how much that hurts. <gasps> what? Oh my god, what? Wait, what? what? Oh, uh, it just reminded me of the times when I was first starting out in Sirius. I'd get injured like this a lot, and then you would scold me. Oh, Back then, you told me, You're so reckless, I can't even bear to watch. They totally dated. They totally dated. Oh my god. I was right, wasn't I? This is a this is a freaking calcet thing all over again. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Captain, do you really remember nothing? Oh my god, 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 oh my god! For example, what about any memories about me? Are you sure you don't remember anything? <gasps> Look at her, I'm asleep! Oh my god! 100% max trust all the way! Lie. Wait, oh god, was I supposed to lie there? 
See... I really wish I... Yeah, that's the thing, like... God damn it. What, what would she have said if I lied? Oh, wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am loving this so badly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I really don't remember anything. I see. Kazami then grew quiet. What? We can't, but this has got to be longer. I want more. I want more. I don't want this to end. Oh, God, no. I, I don't want it to end. Oh, God, it's got to go like on more. I want to see them do more. <laughs> oh, my God. Hello, Guppy Force. Welcome to the stream. And I don't think I've been like this since we didn't go either. It's very long. Yes! Woo! Thank you, Gothi Force! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I gotta get back to the story! Well, say then instantly, well, you have to say the same thing you love me! At that moment of memory, a memory, a, a memory abruptly resurfaced in his mind! Uh, how does it look? Oh my god, they did it! That, that is the an extremely tight shirt. I gotta say, Kazami, though. It's been ages since I last wore a skirt. It doesn't look weird, does it? Not at all. It looks really good on you, Kazami. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> What was that memory? It had only been for a second when he could see it. So he thought he wanted to be a bird! Did you remember something? Well, for some reason I remembered you wearing a skirt. I do I do it, I do it, I do it. I do it. Uh, Could that memory be... What is it, Jachibana? You know what it was? Tell me. Now, 
何の記憶なんだ Tell me, what was that memory about? Well, Tanomio, Moskastra, Sokobara Hokano Kyokumo Yomigar Kamosenida. Please, this could be the key to unlocking more memories, right? What is they? You're definitely a protagonist, because you are as thick as molasses, for sure. Seriously. As dense as a neutron star. God damn it, what is they? Because I've been sort of blushing for some reason when she watches his heart pump. Do you say so? No, go to the game. Oh, my, that's in this car. Why did that have to be the one thing you remembered? That's that just doesn't feel fair. Uh, what do you mean by at that moment? What is he turned around in shock? Is someone gonna come here and, and kill the mood? I fucking swear if it's Ukita. Oh, he can see his own face. We get to see his sprite for once. Wow, he's pretty handsome. The dark monitor next to him was reflecting his face. That this plot device has been used, but it's my absolute favorite one. Seriously. No way! Then that means that memory was. Oh my god! Is he gonna have, like. If the, if the DID theory is true, is he gonna have, like, an epic, like, mind battle with his other self, like, for Kazami? Like, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. And that means that memory was... Dang, wow. He was like a pretty boy when he was younger, I see. Jeez. And now he's more rugged and he even has a little goatee. No. No. I don't know. Maybe you guys... He gets it! Uh, hey. Tachibana. Were we... Were we... Going out with each other? Oh my god! When Watase said that, Kazami. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Yes! We used to. Oh my god! Welcome to the stream. Uh, meanwhile, Root Double has just shot up the ranks of my favorite visual novels. To uh, so far, if it keeps up where it is, it's going to be a solid number three behind Umineko and 999. Oh my god. Oh my god. It might even surpass 999 depending on how it goes. I like. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! We used to. Confirmed as yes!
To what he should say. But she still holds her feelings! Look! She still keeps that locket! I gotta say, it's very professional of them to still be able to work together even after breaking up. You saw that photo of my locket, right? Yeah. The reason your picture is still in there is just because I can't find the time to take it out, that's all. Yeah, the fuck right! <laughs> yeah, the fuck right! If you really hated him, that would be the first thing you would have done. Hell, you would have probably given him the locket back. My god. <laughs> God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What if they didn't press her on that rather full of the excuse? She decided to ask another question instead. Why did we ever break up? Oh my god! I swear, if, if Kazami says something like, You got my best friend killed, and I couldn't, and I couldn't live with that. Like, seriously. And it's just, then it's official that Lowlight officially just saw this story and then wrote Arknights. <laughs> seriously. What <laughs> you Oh my god. You and I are very similar. Like, it was that part that drew us to each other. But the fact that we were too much alike meant that it got too painful for us to be together for long. Well, that's very vague. Probably. What do you mean by probably? Did Wada say break up with her? That might be the reason. That's probably why. So. I see. Now that he thought about it, Sami had mentioned something like that way back when. He said that he was an intellectual rescue worker who always made rational decisions no matter what the crisis. That described Kazami perfectly. So it seemed they really were a lot alike. But what do you mean? I'm a young man. I'm a young man. I'm a young man. I'm a young man. Freaking pass out from the visual level being too good. God damn it! Oh my god! 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 Hey, jeez, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh 
But man, I must have been a real dumbass to break up with you. Yeah, he, he even understand. He even, I, mean, I can't even speak correctly now. He even, uh, he even got it that, uh, <laughs> by the way she said that, it was him that probably broke up with her. with like asshole Akita and everything but oh my god like Akita was gonna do something assholey and maybe we should just get like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god yes GA that that is the accurate translation oh I'm feeling a bit lightheaded oh my god oh my god oh my god why are you saying that? Huh? Hang on. Huh? Is that weird? Oh my god, why do they? Yes, he's gonna surpass the old one, say! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I mean, it didn't sound like anything you'd ever say. Oh my god. God. You would never talk that way at all. Oh my god! Maybe losing my memories made me a bit more honest. If that's the case, maybe getting amnesia wasn't such a bad thing after all! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! God, oh my god, this can't be real. It just can't. Oh my god. 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 Oh my 
Good. So, no, never say that. Not even as a joke. Ah, Jordan, do you? Yeah, I was just kidding. But you know, Omae ga ii onna da ttu wa. I was being totally serious when I said you were a good woman. Oh my god! Nando mo inochi o skuare da shi. Onto ni tayori ni nara shi. You saved my life more times than I can count, and you're reliable to a fault. Seiyokute, yugai ni yasashikute. Toki daki kawaii tokoro mo atte. You're strong, surprisingly kind, and even to a cute side from time to time. Wakareta koto o koukai shitaku naru no mo shoujiki na tokoro da. Ultra Chad, what to say? Woo! Just laying it all out. Wow. None of this like, oh wow, what if she rejects me bullshit. No, he's just laying all his feelings out right there. That is hot as hell. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. In all honesty, it makes me want to regret that we ever broke up. I'm very happy to hear you say that, but... Right now, we need to worry about escaping this place. Right. You could just have one more reason to escape with your life, what to say. Oh my god. What to see his face tensed up when he said that. He decided to push all the sentimentalism to a far hot corner of his heart for now. I better get back to searching now. Oh, then I'll come along too. Don't put yourself. Just rest here for a while. This But. Yeah, not no means no. You're being so reckless that I can't bear to watch right now. <laughs> what to say Bard is past self words to get this point across. Appear to have been enough to reach her. Understood. I shall do as you say. Head back to the neuroscience lab once you're recovered, and wait for the others to come back. While you're resting, keep an eye on the functioning security cameras, and see if you can spot any of the survivors. Yes. Please leave that to me. Watase took Kazami's Prokyon and headed for the door. Whoever Kazumi then called out a bit of love for it. Captain, uh... Huh? Huh? What's wrong? Kazumi paused for a few moments after Watase turned around, then continued. Yeah. Keep your eyes on. Never mind. Just please be careful. Okay? Kazami, <gasps> just say it! Huh? Yeah. What to say then gave an obedient nod, then left the surveillance room. Beyond communication, no way. <laughs> Oh my god.
god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I am just floating right now. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my hope. that long are you serious it doesn't even it feels like it's gonna end like in a couple of episodes honestly dang it must get like into a whole nother story arcs oh my god well we have the other kids root too but if it's as long as this seems to be it doesn't seem like um like too long at least Wada well, says and headed for the stairwell at first after he parted with Kazami. His goal was to find what caused the explosion earlier. However, there's nothing here. He searched the stairwell as much as he could, but there didn't appear to be anything explosive in there. I am so glad that it's so long, GAs. Between 50 and 60. Damn, Guppy Force. Wow, that that fills my heart with joy. Seriously, to have it be even longer than uh, fucking Artanelico, and that was that was probably as long as it was because of the um, shop events and uh, the battles. I'm like, oh my god, seriously, even longer than Rose Guns days. I just that just sends me over the moon. Yeah. If this keeps going the way it's been going, like, absolutely it's going to be one of my top visual novels ever. For sure. For sure. Absolutely. It's doing so much right. Now, the ball could easily be dropped, but it's just, it is doing so much right. And it's pushing all my buttons. So, I want to see what it, how, it, how it keeps going. fire extinguisher had set shivers down his spine when he'd seen it early for some reason, so he checked it out. It had already been smashed up to pieces, none of it would help, held any clues. Was it a bomb? Did someone deliberately do this? Wait a minute. Did someone deliberately set a fire and then leave that as a trap? Someone trying to kill Watase. Oh God. Besides, why would a fire cause an extinguisher to blow up anyway? Yeah, unless someone sabotaged it. Maybe there was a gas leak or something? But without his knowledge of fire investigations, Watase didn't know any more than that. bugging me, but I don't have enough time for this. He decided to give up for the time being and continue searching elsewhere. Area 2, inner ring B2. Want to say immediately began his search of the block. It is criminal, I will say, that no, that this is barely known and there's like, there is literally no fan art for this series. Absolutely criminal. It's like, like, I, I don't really care about things like the channel getting like famous or anything like I, I don't think I would even know how to how to handle that but it's times like this that I kind of wish it was if only so I could tell more people about this game seriously god this game deserves more people to play it and know about it it's not fair Fucking hell. <sighs> Hello, Emia. Welcome to the stream. 
not want to say immediately began his search of the block. Only Kazami and June had searched the place the first time through. It was also where their makeshift base was set up. It had been ages since anyone had last checked the area out. There's also enough room to believe that the survivors are constantly on the move. Watase quickly carried out his search with those thoughts in mind. <laughs> huh? But a nameplate labeling on one of the rooms caught Watase's eye. Reference room. A room we'd never visited before. Could there be a hint about an escape route in here? No, Ever-17 definitely has some. I do know that. Okita had just warned him not to go poking his nose in too deeply. But this wasn't the kind of situation that allowed him to heed that warning. Seriously. Goddamn, Okita. Like, seriously. I can't believe you're worried about confidentiality in a time like this. Fucking hell. Unless, again, there's like some secret entrance to some kind of true lab type thing. Where they're performing some kind of crazy illegal experiments and shit. I... What is they head into the room with that thought in mind? Oh, these kind of records. It was a small room about five meters in width. That entire space was almost completely filled with steel bookshelf upon steel bookshelf. And there was a switch attached to each shelf, meaning it was most likely a movable type of bookcase. Yuri's not here, huh? Once he confirmed that, Watase's eyes turned to the bookshelf. A cram line of books and essays were sitting there. An introduction to the informational field. Is that the morphogenetic field? Is that the morphogenetic field? Because that sounds a lot like what that was. Author Miyoko Tenkawa, yeah. Elementary Particles, Information and Consciousness. Author Miyoko Tenkawa. This sure sounds a lot like the morphogenetic field. ESP, Synchronization Hypothesis. Author Antoine Corbet. Translator Miyoko Tenkawa. Yeah, they're, they're performing way more than just nuclear experiments here. Oh. Oh. There's going to be some kind of human test subject. I bet that's what Ukita is really trying to hide. There's going to be some kind of human test subject here. Maybe the kid that they said, um... that uh, Kazami said that died is actually like held prisoner and like being treated as like a, a, a some a guinea pig for psychic experiments Cerebrum Labyrinth of Physiology author Ryokin Kashiwagi Unbinding from Pseudoscience Future and Prospects of Parapsychology Author Koki Sumida. What? <laughs> Before crime, after days. But that's that's the title of this of the game. Author Chikage Sonomura. Particles, the mind, and the brain. Author Shia Iraguchi. I mean June, yeah, sorry. She is, yeah. June is the one who uh, said that, yeah. Well, to say, looked at all the other titles. I don't get them. 
Think about it, what to say. This is supposed to be a place for experimenting with nuclear power. Why do they have all this study on psychic shit? I do, yeah, the Lavo incident. 2021, yeah. What to say had no knowledge of science in its current state, so we hadn't the slightest clue what they contained. How did they thought about it? The two main themes research at the facility were nuclear power and biology, exactly. This has nothing to do with that. Either way, all he knew there was a lot a lot of biology related books in there. What? No, this is related to psychology and neurology and freaking study of psychic powers, which I mean, I guess you could say neurology is a branch of biology, but it's kind of stretching it. There was a familiar name amongst all the authors listed. Yep. Yoko Tenkawa. If his memory served him right, that was the name of Natsuhiko Tenkawa's mother. Yep. And when he saw those books, a strange anxiety welled up in Watase's chest. Watase was puzzled. Why would looking at books make him feel anxious? Now, I'm trying to think, why on earth would they pair the study of, like, psychic research in a nuclear power facility? And my, my current guess is that in a lot of fiction, like, uh, psychic powers are blocked by, like, very strong metallic shields like lead shielding and things like that so what if in this story the kind of shielding that's normally used to protect against radiation also blocks psychic powers and what if the whole nuclear research is used as a kind of excuse to hide the fact of what the, they really want to study there which is the psychic powers. And so they gave, they got all the grants for the, the materials for this. And they imagine they do do some, you know, cursory nuclear research to keep up appearances. But what if their real goal is studying the psychic abilities and they don't want anyone to notice it or even think about, like, why it would even be here because of... Um, the shielding that it would require. What to say was puzzled. Why would looking at books make, make him feel anxious? I know this isn't the time to be doing this, but... What to say couldn't go against his feelings, so he took one of the books and flipped through it. An introduction to the informational field theory. Forward. In modern phys physics, all phenomena that shape the natural world can be explained with four fundamental forces. Yep. But there are phenomena such as the accelerating universe and so on that cannot be explained by these four fundamental forces alone. It has become clear from recent high precision observations that the rate at which the universe expands accelerates with time. It's from the survey that the theory of an unknown energy such as dark energy, repulsive gravity, was born. If dark energy supposedly does exist, then what is it? Ooh, yeah. We're in this we're in this period of time, like, damn it. Once we find out what dark energy is, so many stories are gonna be outdated. This is like what happened like to stories of fiction like in the, like John Carter of Mars which is one of the first like real science fiction stories 
and it's completely outdated because of uh, we know what Mars is like and things don't actually live there it's like like so many I, I wonder I wonder when um, I wonder what time era of mankind when uh, we'll actually know what dark energy actually is and things like this will be outdated oh well we don't yet so it's still it's still relevant but if dark energy supposedly does exist then what is it there is conjectures have been conceived but they're all merely speculation the second oh as i continue to look into that force from the perspective of an elementary particle particle physicist and formulated hypothesis could it be information if a fifth fundamental force does exist there is a high possibility that it is in fact information i use a numerical formula to express the equivalence of information volume and energy then after deriving its value i discovered that said value completely matched up with the rate of universal expansion in other words Huh? Watts had no clue what he was reading. Fifth fundamental force. Information. Dark energy. The hell's all that? It still had no clue why it felt such intense anxiety from this book. Damn. Wow. Because what they're clearly going to do with this... Well, not clearly, I should say, but... They're obviously going to bank on the fact that in current in the current model of understanding of the universe, dark energy is vastly the most the most the largest amount of uh, matter in the universe by far. It dwarfs normal matter completely and utterly. And if they're saying that dark matter is information. And if they are trying to access that, then that is Eldritch Horror. Like, to even begin to comprehend that kind of, that amount of, of uh, information. If dark, uh, if dark energy has information. My god, that is an awesome setup for sci-fi horror. Wow! Seriously. There's actually a mathematical equivalent to um, dark energy. And the, uh, it, they're called uh, uncomputable numbers. And uh, they're basically numbers that we can never actually understand. They're pretty crazy if you ever want to look up what they are. It, they're hard to explain. It's, uh, for example, one uncomputable number would be the amount of calculations it would take for a computer that can run on all the en energy in the universe to break. And uh, that's a number that we can never actually know. Because of, uh, I, th I think that was the one example that I heard stated. It was something similar to that. Do not quote me. But yeah, if you want to read up on un uncomputable numbers, they're the mathematical equivalent of dark energy. And it's absolutely fascinating. Was it just my imagination? Well, I just say wondered that as he flipped through the pages and kept reading. following conjecture is based off this theory. Damn, we are getting into a whole nother area of stuff here. If even information itself can exist independently and can possibly interact, be conveyed, without the use of other forces as, as an intermediary.
For example, if the humans' thoughts are a type of information, then they can communicate with others without the need for those thoughts to be converted into another medium, such as electrical signals. This is a somewhat extreme expression I'm using here, but this is the gist of the informational field hypothesis. Oh, absolutely, Emia. Lovecraft would have loved th this, that kind of, like, seriously. Incredible. This, this is, uh, like, the thought of even beginning to tap into that vast amount of what they're saying is information. Seriously. I couldn't, I could barely imagine anything more terrifying. The informational field is a place where information operates as the fifth fundamental force slash energy. If we are to consider this by using the human brain as an example, the informational field generated from thought information may in fact what, what, be what we call the consciousness. Ooh. So are you, are, they're probably saying that it would be like some kind of god type thing. It is still unclear as of this point as to what the process that creates the consciousness entails. All we do know is that a consciousness is generated inside the brain when countless memories equals fragments of information. And electric signals running through the synapses interact. Is what to say a fucking Boltzmann brain? What? Oh my god. That would be nuts. If what to say is a fucking Boltzmann brain. Oh my god. Wow. Holy fuck. Oh god, I am loving this. Ooh, I love this type of sci-fi stuff. However, another conjecture can be formed moving on the basis of this hypothesis. If information can exist independently, then that means a consciousness does not necessarily have to form a brain. If a fixed amount of information gathers in one spot and interacts with each other, a consciousness can be born right then and there. Furthermore, since the information can be controlled, that it should also be possible to artificially create a consciousness. This is awesome! An artificial soul. Wow! Wow! This is so cool! Yeah, this isn't making any sense to me. What kind of research does Miyoko Tenkawa person do? She called herself an elementary particle physicist, but he got the information that this research had more to do with biology. God. Wow! Oh my god, I am loving this! Loving this so much. Oh, it's getting me both ways. This story. This story is getting me from from many different directions. Wow. 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 Oh my God. Watase could be. It's possible that Watase is some kind of artificial Boltzmann brain. That's merely attached itself to his own body. Oh my god. Oh wow, this is so cool. I love this, I love it. I love it, I love it. To create a consciousness. 
Why would anyone want to do that? Because it's badass. Higgs, thank you, Watase. Oh my god. We, I can't believe we've barely cracked the surface of the plot now, haven't we? Wow. Wow. <laughs> what does research involve in creating a consciousness? Have to do with nuclear power and biology. Exactly. Exactly. We gotta find the true lab. We gotta find the true lab. Ukita is ultra mega hyper giga sus right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. He wasn't sure why, but he felt a faint, ominous sensation. Despite that, he continued read, to read more of the book. And then gasped. In conclusion, the various theories laid out in the informational field hypothesis have yet to be proven. But this thesis has been reappraised in one form I never expected. This is all to a, to a rapid yet drastic change that has recently sub swept society. That change is the manifestation of BC. BC? BC? Come to think of it, Anna had mentioned it before. Yep, the telepathy thing. She said that it wasn't all that rare, but that we could look and use telepathy these days. What does they continue to read? The ability known as BC has been widely acknowledged by society in the last few years. It could be said that this resulted in mindsets toward the nature of information and ways of communication to undergo tremendous changes. We've also discovered countless people that possess this ability that we never conceived just feasible few years ago. The ability of BC can generally be classified into two groups. The first one is telepathy, the ability to directly send your voice to another's mind. The other is empathy, the ability to read the voice of another's mind. This is gonna have to do with the choice wheel, I know it. By describing these two abilities with these extremely coherent terms, we can explain them separately. The, this would have been the best excuse ever to have two choice wheels. Seriously. To have two wheel, one for trust and the other for um, believing uh, what, uh, in what they're saying. I think, uh, like uh, one to trust what they're saying and the other like how much I like this person I think uh... oh my god this is so fucking cool when BC is used the user's thought information is not converted into another medium communicate with their target by sending that thought information directly into their target's brain by using elementary particles as an intermediary. This matches up with what I proposed in my informational field hypothesis. Two completely unrelated fields of study, parapsychology and elementary particle physics, are connected by BC. Well, there you go. Furthermore, while telepathy practitioners are still few, Empathy predictions are even rarer. But the true number of users is not what's important here. It's the fact that abilities such as empathy exists, and the fact that the existence of information known as the voice of the mind can be observed by others, despite previously being unknown to the, those other than the thinkers themselves. This is indeed the first and biggest paradigm shift of the 21st century. What? The words laid out before were almost unbelievable. I had already heard about the ability to directly send one's voice to another's mind. The problem with the other ability. The ability to read another's mind. He then remember what Anna had told him earlier. It is essentially the ability to mutually communicate your ideas to people far away. Nothing more and nothing less. The 
I see. So when she said mutually communicate, she didn't just mean sending her thoughts, but also reading other people's thoughts too. And that stuff in this book isn't just some pipe dream. Odyssey looked at the bookshop in shock to find that many of them had the phrase BC in the titles. Apparently it really was considered a completely normal thing. Though there were very few of them, there were indeed people out there who could read others' minds. Just then, Odyssey finally realized the truth behind his anxiety. I see. So I... I was scared of this empathy ability. He didn't exactly know why. Maybe he'd had a really frightening experience with it before he lost his memories. Maybe he didn't have these memories to begin with. Something happened. But even if that weren't the case, he didn't feel like there could possibly be anyone who was okay with having their mind read by someone else. No. What if at this very moment, someone is reading my mind, I can hear my fear of having my mind read. What to say his body shook violently in the face of that abrupt thought. So then, BC no tsukaite wa naze ka kodomo ni oku. And though a lot of BC users are kids for some reason, adult BC users are as rare as a hand's teeth. Kids keep on justifying that southern accent I give you, too. <laughs> if you were to trust what June said, then that probably meant none of the adults in the group were communicators. But what about the children? Is she reading something scary inside Watase's mind? Of the original Watase? Like, is he trapped inside there or something? Could Natsuhiko read minds? Mashiro or Salyu? Oh my god! What if the fact that Watase is some kind of Boltzmann brain, like an artificial soul, like what if that is scaring her? What if that is scaring Yuri? Because, like, she can read his mind in that way and doesn't know what to make of that. Because, like, he might just seem very scary and different. And that's why she's scared of him. Could Natsuhiko read minds? Mashido sell you. And what about Yuri? Teach said that Natsuko and his friends could use telepathy. And isn't naturally possible isn't it naturally possible they can use empathy too? Now that he thought about it, several suspicious events had occurred. Why had Yuri run away from the group? She must have read something evil in somebody's mind, maybe. We had saw you for from fled from the group back then. She must have read something evil in somebody's mind. But... Oh no. If that's true, it was only with Watase, Kasami, and Chu. If it's not the original Watase. Uh, I hope it's the original Watase. Oh god. Why it's Sal you fled from the group back then? Why hadn't they found the three survivors yet? Those kids can read people's minds. And when you take into account they've been running from us, then maybe one of us hates them and they know it. We didn't want to believe it, but it all adds up. If that were the case, then it was the one who hated them. It wasn't Watase at the very least. He knew that better than anyone. 
So it's one of the other four. I hope it's Okita. Okita seems like he would know them, actually. And surely it's not Enna. Ugh. Unless Enna has been lying to us. Once he thought that, every single one of them was losing suspicious in his mind. His anxiety swelled up like a balloon, and his heart started racing faster and faster. Doubt began more doubt, but then it soon came full circle. No, wait. Maybe it's the other way around. What if they're the ones who hate us? But why would they? Well, that wouldn't require any kind of mind-reading ability, then. Though kids, kids who could read people's minds were filled with malice and trying to back Watase's group into a corner for some reason. Maybe that was just an absurd theory, but... If it's true, then can we fight off guys like that? As soon as he thought that... <laughs> oh no! A sudden headache ripped through Watase's skull, causing him to groan. His consciousness started fading as he grew incredibly dizzy. This is bad. Watase staggered his way out of the reference room as quickly as possible. Watase heard to a nearby restroom once he'd left the reference room. Damn, man. Oh. This is totally a reference. This shot right here is totally a fucking reference. He turned the sink faucet on with all his might and washed his face with cold water. Damn, he looks cool. But his headache didn't get any better at all. Not another headache. Wait, could this be an effect of radiation damage? I mean, at this point... Do we have any real proof that the radiation is even there? Like, the Prokeons are not like your average Geiger counter. What if they were, like, hacked or something? Yeah, and Sigma from not from uh, Virtue's Last Reward. Uh, Luca. Wait, could this be effective radiation damage? It was at that moment that he remembered something Kazami and the others had told him. Ooh, no! Well, I mean, she could also get internal radiation exposure from her wound. There is a possibility that the top one has been contaminated by radiation. You can get internal radiation exposure just from drinking it. Shit! He's been washing his face with that stuff. What does he frankly wipe his face to make sure none of the water got in his mouth or nose? But his headache still hurt just as much as it had before. And soon he was assaulted with anxiety and fear that made him feel even worse. What does he vomited into the sink? His stomach was empty, so all that came out was ja gastric juices. Ouch! That's gonna burn his throat. A heavy sense of fatigue weighed down his whole body. Damn it. I'm thinking about way too much at once. What is it gritted his teeth? Being trapped in this hellish environment was bad enough, but now strange incidents were happening one after another. People had died or became or been killed, and on top of that. 
There might be monsters out there who can read people's minds! Matasu is extremely confused. At that moment, countless disconnected images flashed through his mind as they were conspiring with that confusion. Was that girl? What was all that? I feel like there have been images he didn't recognize mixed in with that one of Yuri. And that Naltaiko Tenkawa and his friends, the very same people they were looking for, had been in them. Why? Have I seen them somewhere before? He didn't know. He couldn't tell if they were his own memories or not. As Watsi was to, driven to the brink of confusion by those mysterious images. That's enough, Watase Katasagi. Don't think too deeply about it. If I think about it too much, you'll just get a headache. Oh my god, Will, what are you doing here? <laughs> it was the first time in ages that he'd heard that auditory hallucination. What is he was overcome with astonishment when he heard it? Wait, could this auditory hallucination be trying to control me? That suspicion extended to immense proportions in one quick movement. Moment. No, what if... What if someone's been controlling me this whole time? I mean... Maybe? Then who is the me that I thought was me up until now? I think you're the controller, what to say. What to say looked at his face in the mirror as he was seized by that primitive fear. Reflected in there was the face of an unfamiliar man he didn't recall. What as they felt whatever had been keeping himself sane up until this point start to fall apart in an instant. Kazami, June, Anna, and Ukita, adults who probably held some sort of malice against the survivors. Yuri, Salyu, Natsuhiko, and Mashiro children who possibly wielded a mysterious power. And himself, a man with vague memories and a will that might not even be his own. Damn it! What do I What? Or who should I believe in? Just as Watase started harboring doubts from everyone, himself included. Whoa! What? Whoa, 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 who are you? You're overthinking things, Watase. Who are you? Do that, and you'll just whiz out. Just the point. Wait. Do that. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, oh god. Uh, new character. Do that and you'll just wuss out to the point where you'll, you won't be able to make sense of anything anymore. <laughs> I'll think of a better voice later. I just... Whoa! Okay, so that's clearly a, a communicator. What is they blinked? It felt like someone else's face was in the mirror. But all he saw there was his own face. What was that? Who was that? Perhaps it was a type of auto-visual hallucin hallucination, or maybe a flashback. He wasn't sure, but when he saw that face, he felt a mysterious sense of nostalgia come over him. Don't overthink things, huh? His heart calmed for some reason when he muttered that. Watasei felt as though that illusion had been admonishing him. That's right. I have to trust everyone, and myself. What does they turn off the still running faucet? Looks like I was just jumping in shadows for a minute there. What does they finally realize that he regained his composure? And that his headache was now gone. By the time he left the bathroom, the doubts that had taken hold of him had completely vanished. Woo! Okay. Wow, it's early. What the fuck? It feels like we've read so much. Oh my god, okay, we'll take a little bit of a break here. Because, yeah, well definitely keep going take a little bit of a break right here god damn this story is just been giving one amazing section after another holy fuck i just want to save just in case any shit happens i'm gonna take a little bit of a break i'll be back in a couple minutes oh my god you guys
All right, and we're back. We'll go for maybe like a half hour or so more until we get to a good stopping point. And oh my god, I love this story so much already. Lapis Lake quickly checked his watch when he left the bathroom. Time was exactly 1.16 p.m., which is absolutely nuts because it's literally 1.16 a.m. where I am right now. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. It's right about time to take some more AD, huh? Want to say administer himself with one of the ampules he had on him. You still gotta find a bit more. But just five more hours or so until the lockdown lifts, huh? The roadhead was still long. To make things worse, he was so tired that his body felt like blood at this point. Yeah, they can't really sleep without. God, they thought about it. What does he realize he'd only accumulated four hours with his memory since he woke up? In other words, five hours is longer than the life what does he could remember so far. What does he walk down the hallway as he felt frustration towards the whole situation? And suddenly heard an unfamiliar voice. I think that was a guy. Didn't get any closer. Was afraid to become congested past the corner in the hallway right up ahead. Oh my god. He then heard yet another voice echoing. And I found them! Oh, they're scared of Anna! Why are you trying to run away from us? It appeared to be Anna's. Who's Teach talking to? Eavesdrop! 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 You could tell from the voice it probably wasn't June or Kazami. What as they peeked around the corner to see what was going on? Ooh, it's Louise. Okay. Oh, I could barely hear. Okay, it was Louise. Isn't that? Well, they find Sal, you standing in front of Anna. What as they immediately held his breath and listened in on their conversation. What are you even doing here in the first place? That's I haven't given anyone the burn castle voice yet, have I? And that sounded extremely burn castle-y. Uh, if anyone has any objections to that, please tell me. I can ask you the same. Oh, goddammit. Why are you here today? You know who she sounds like, though? She reminds me of Satoko's Japanese voice. From the Garashi. Hey, Anna. 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 Why are you here, Anna? I didn't expect to see you here after you paid no heed to the information we gave you yesterday. That's... Uh, didn't I tell you back then to leave the rest up to the adults? Hello, Hollow Mirage! Welcome to the stream! And OBS just fucked up for a second. Oh god. I don't know why it did, but it did. Oh my god, you guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give uh, Salyu the Burncastle voice. Yeah, if she's stoic, then yeah. The Burncastle voice would definitely fit her. It's exactly as I said. Oh my god, Mr. Baldock, I was thinking the exact same thing. 
This reminds me of an RPG town uh, OST right here. It reminded me, I was thinking of like Wild Arms, actually, this song here. It reminded me of Wild Arms. So basically, this is what you were up to. What are they talking about? It didn't sound like Salyu was talking to Anna the way a student would to a teacher. Sure, thank you, Burncastle. I'll keep that in mind. And the details of their conversation felt private. I want to say he almost walked out into the open on instinct, but he stopped himself at the last moment. He remembered how Salyu had abruptly run away from him the last time. Yep. For now, I should trust Teach and watch how things play out. Anna then resumed the conversation. I'll tell you the details later. Anyway, why don't you come with us? It's too dangerous to act alone right now. Yeah. I refuse. Why? Masiro,絵画は心を開いていないと言っていた。うん。私はマシロの判断を信じる。what does that mean? Mashira said your heart was closed. I trust her judgment. Wait, Miss Toba is with you. Where is she? She's not with me right now. What do you mean? Well, you didn't answer. And as soon started to grow impatient. I do know that I gave the, uh, the brown-haired girl, Jessica. I admit that I've been keeping my heart closed, yes. That said, I don't have a choice in the matter. What does that even mean? Does that mean they can't read her mind or something? I'm on your side. Could you trust me on that? So you paused for what felt like forever, and spoke as if she'd made up her mind. Anna, Anna, I will warn you about one thing, out of consideration for Natsuhiko. God damn it! Be careful of that captain. He's a dangerous man. Eh? Huh? Just then. Oi! So what do you mean? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, God damn it, what to say? What to say instinctively rushed out from behind the corner. Ah. <coughs> <sighs> So you turned yourself aside and started running off at the exact same moment. Uh, Miss Sanomiya, wait! Oh no. And immediately gave chase. But saw you pushed her away a second later. God damn it, saw you! Uh, How? What is it caught Anna before she hit the ground? So he took that opportunity to run into the connecting passageway that led to the outer ring. Disappeared behind the security camera. Wait! For fuck's sake! They gotta surround them. I just think that we picked up the pursuit. But then the security gate shut before his eyes. <coughs> For crying out loud! Frustrated, Anna punched the closed gate. Not as quickly took out his card and opened the gate again. But Salyu was already long gone from then. The pursuit.
sewers. Watase and Anna ran into B2 of Ares 2's outer ring in pursuit of Salyu. But she wasn't anywhere to be seen. Anoko, where where could she have gone? Sagaso, Let's look around. There's a high chance she's hiding in one of the nearby rooms. <laughs> All right. Want to say an Anna nod at each other and search the nearby rooms. Want to say couldn't help but voice his thoughts. He kept on opening random doors. Shikashi, Anoko, Orega Kikente, do you put on that? But what did that girl mean when she said it was dangerous? So Nakoto did our name. Daichosa, Saki no Hanashi Kokoratari. She did say that, didn't she? Do you have any idea about what she was talking about? Zande Nagara, but sorry, but no. I see. Yeah, it's it's that is definitely possible, Fern Castle. That there is um, like, uh, like Walter says, other personality is somehow evil. But I see, that doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, like very no nonsense, but evil. That just didn't seem like it would be him. さんの宮さんと隊長さんの間に何かがあったのは確かなはずよ。おそらく。Like yeah, I was thinking the same thing. But I'm a rescue worker, you know? Why would something like me ever do to her? No point in asking me. Perhaps Miss Sanomi is making some sort of misunderstanding or something. I to say then remember the wound on Sonya's arm as she said that. I wasn't the one who gave her that wound, was I? I couldn't think of any reason why I'd ever do that. Have finished their search of the floor as well as they pondered that. Sally was still completely nowhere to be found. Maybe she ran into another area. Sensei, Kanojo, Teach, let's go after her. We can ask her all sorts of things if we find her. Wait, first things first. Wait, first things first. I thought we said we should avoid going off on our own as much as possible. Oh, Alright, oh, you see, Judgy Bono was. Well, to say then, explain to Anna how Kazami had gotten hurt. Okay, good. I'm glad she's skipping the details there. While they were at it, well, to say and Anna synchronized their PDA's map to the, share their search results. So. So, there was something that happened. I see. 
Something like that happened to you guys too, huh? So, Chidewa, take a look. Wait, what do you mean, too? Kochimo, Moribe san ga Dairok area no sousak chu. What? Oh no! Miss Moribe fell down from a large hut and got hurt while we were searching Area 6. Oh no! What the hell? So, Moribe is okay? What? Is she okay? I'm fine. 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 She's recovering in a room in area 6 right now. I think she should be fine after a little rest. Oh god. June, poor June. So I see. What say breathe a sigh of relief and a frown? But you know, don't you think the fact that there are two incidents like this happen in succession means that something is really going on behind the scenes here in Labo? That's good. Good point. But Kazami and June have been wounded in the same hour. It stung too much to be a coincidence. Feels like there's an invisible enemy that's attacking us. Definitely, absolutely. But aimlessly fanning the oh, but aimlessly fanning the flames of his anxiety wouldn't help a thing. He decided to focus on the pressing issue at hand first. But that's not enough, Sensei. First, Sario will be still close to the room. Let's go after Sario first. She might still be nearby. Eh. Yes. And then nodded nervously, then broke off into, ru into a run with what to say. What to say and Anna were currently in Area 2's outer ring. Okay, you guys, I think this is a good stopping point right here. Woo! Alright, since I don't know how it happened, but... Ukita was not in this episode at all! I gotta change the title. I know exactly what to change it to as well. Oh, the end of this scene would be a good stopping point? Okay. Oh. What is saying that I'm currently in Area 2's outer ring? Okay. I didn't know there was a scene here. Taking into account the stage of things, state of things, Sal, you had to have run either Area 1 or the direction of Area 3. I didn't know which way she'd gone. We have no choice. Let's split up. No. Yeah. No. Going alone is way too dangerous after everything that's happened. Then what do we do? Then what should we? Susanna said that. She didn't want to say her to sound coming from far off. That sound was. Achida, go, Sensei. Q. 
came from this way. Let's go. Well, St. Anna ran toward the south of the sound. Area one. On their way, they heard yet another noise. There's no doubt about it. Came for the connecting passageway. The two of them followed the sound as quickly as they could. Ran through the connecting passageway and entered area one. Taito san, kore! Captain Kasasaki, look at this! <laughs> Only to see red blood stains scattered here and there. It's fresh. Is it Sawyer's blood? The lad trail continued all the way to the stairwell. Oimashou, Taito san! Follow it. Uh, yeah. I want to say an Anna ran over to the stairwell. The emergency staircase was collapsed as it had been earlier, leaving only a roof of the debris. Salyu wasn't there. The end of the scattered blood trail uh, it was a vinyl bag full of red liquid. The bag's la the bag's label read A B. Yeah, it's blood. You get your kids back. I saw you a fucking vampire. Isn't this the blood transfusion pack? <laughs> What's something like this that doing here? What is they and Anna stood there in confusion? Only for the fire door behind them to shut a second later. <coughs> Damn it! Taken aback with surprise, Watson they tried to open the door, but he couldn't. Only budged a few mill millimeters like something was propped against it. Damn. Oh no! Damn it, we got locked in! I knew it! There's somebody is trying to kill them! So there is a murderer here. And like someone is deliberately trying to kill him. What is this? Some kind of a trap! A trap? Watase looked around for an exit as he tried to recover from the shock. He quickly spotted something that caught his eye immediately. <laughs> that! Oh no, it's a bomb! Another, another bomb! Oh god! Something was lying in the corner of the stairwell. A fire extinguisher! A fire extinguisher. Run! Run! Captain Kasasagi. He's something wrong about that fire extinguisher or something. No! Yes! Watase suddenly realized something. It's the object that caught fire exploded in sterile earlier. The fire extinguisher? Yes, it was! Someone is trying to fucking kill you! <laughs> Hold on a sec, Teach. Watase gently watched over the, walked over to the extinguisher, picked it up, and examined it. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. I don't know, but I have a bad feeling about this. He turned it upside down and checked it out. We found out to be so soldering marks on the bottom. <laughs> Once he picked up a piece of debris, pushed against the soldering marks and tried opening up the extinguisher. What are you doing? He succeeded in removing the bottom of the extinguisher. Oh, and found something strange inside. <sighs> They gasp when he saw it's fucking TNT! These kids don't it can't be the kids! How would they get all this TNT? A cord stuck out of what appeared to be a digital clock, wrapped around several cylindrical objects. He could tell from a glance that it was a time bomb. <laughs> uh, what the hell? <laughs> Why was there a bomb planted inside a fire extinguisher? Just as well as they finished voicing his shock. Numbers appeared on the digital display. <gasps> Strange beeping sound began echoing through the stairwell. The <laughs> numbers are ticking down. <laughs> Shit, I think it's been activated. I want to save me for sure that the constant beeping is coming from the timer or count down to their deaths. 
Was this what one, the one trapped us in here was after? Captain Kasasagi! Isn't there any way you can defuse this thing? Defuse it? Don't it's the impossible? I don't have those kind of skills. I'm rescue, not the bomb squad. The bomb squad goes in before the rescue team. Anyway, we need to get out of here ASAP. But Taro, are we supposed to do that? And the staircase had crumbled and the fire door was shut. But just as Anna had said, there was no way out. Bob's time was ticking down by the second. And then, the time between the deep scratches grew shorter and shorter. I said to feel Watase and Anna's ear. Damn it! Watase's body sla slams the door out. Of oh, typo. Slams the door out of desperation. Open! Open up, you goddamn son of a bitch! But it didn't bun budge an inch. Is this it? Is this where it ends? I don't think I made a choice to get here. I was just as want to say was about to give up. What? Captain Kasasaki out of the way! Oh, what is a body slam the door out of desperation? Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. I misread it. Thank you. Sorry, GAs. Yeah, I misread it. I, th I thought it says what to say is body slam, but what to say body slam. Okay. I misread it. Oh, what the fuck? She's the one? She's not an ordinary teacher, is she? Damn, and that is a badass view of her. Wow, she looks really cool like that. Captain Kasasagi, how does he weigh? Yes, Holland Rush. Oh my, oh my god, Anna's got a gun! <laughs> Anna shouted that and took something out from under her clothes. I'd ask where she was hiding that, but it's kind of obvious. There's only one real place. That object shining with a black luster was none other than a pistol! Anna pulled the trigger as the wave of sheer disbelief hit Watase. Time to build my neutral special! The bullet successfully destroyed the door's hinges. Smash the door down now! Hurry! Right! Though Watase was still confused, he kicked the fire door with all his might. The door collapsed in the, into the hallway, allowing the light on the side to shine in. Damn, that's not the door, that's the fucking wall next to the door. Aita. It's open! Hell yeah, I'll trust Anna. Jeez. She just saved your life, want to say. Go. There's no time! Want to say and Anna rush into the hallway without a moment's delay. Led down the hallway as fast as they could. Pursued by the sound of beeping from the door, they'd escaped. It's gonna blow! Want to say dove towards Anna as the realization hit him. Yay, he saves her! Sissy, stay up! Jeez, get down! <laughs> huh? Oh god. Want to say threw himself into the hallway in order to shield her with his body. And then. The beeping finally stopped. Smoking barrel. Over ten. Whoa. Oh my god, was that all like a ploy to get her to reveal her gun or something? By the. Over ten seconds had passed since the beeping had stopped. The only sound that filled the block was Watsa and his panting. Did it. Was it a dud? The two of them got off the floor and timidly took a peek into the stairwell. This is a good stopping point? Okay. This story. Bomb and gun, yeah. Is 
fucking amazing. Holy shit, I cannot wait to see where it goes. Wow. Oh my god. Holy shit, you guys. Is she the one who killed the, the two researchers? She's clearly some kind of secret agent. Oh my god. This story is fucking phenomenal, you guys. Oh my god. So, on Thursday, we will start a Paradise Killer. And on Friday, we will get back to this. I hope you guys are enjoying this even as half as much as I am. Until next time, I will say so long, farewell, of we the same good night. You're all the sweetest of hearts. See ya.